In 1970, a British scientist, Ivan T. Sanderson, wrote an article named The Twelve Devil's Graveyards Around the World, in which he discussed what he called the Vile Vortex, an anomaly heavy region on Earth where a disproportionate number of strange phenomena occur, such as disappearances, UFO sightings, underwater people, and other strange sightings. He attributed these phenomena to the existence of the wrinkles in space-time, involving gravitational and magnetic aberrations. Sanderson identified 12 spaces across the Earth in which these, quote, vile vortices might exist, including the well-known Bermuda Triangle and the Devil's Sea. Could such a vortex create a portal through which a visitor or creature from another dimension could travel? When the triangles were studied on a map, it was seen that they had a similar pattern of identification. Still, there is a similarity, and that is the fact that all triangles are seen on the lines that concern Capricorn and Cancer. A further study shows that two triangles were not seen on the map. The location of this, too, was later discovered to be in the center of Arctic and Antarctic circles. Before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe, because if you do, a person will come out of your closet and give you a much needed hug. Let's get started! In the area of the ocean where the triangle is located, many people have claimed that ships were disappearing in the western part of the Atlantic Ocean. The ships and aircraft that have gone missing make people continue to refer to the Bermuda Triangle as the Devil's Triangle. This is because of the previous happenings that is mysterious and unexplainable. The first appearance of the triangle happened on September 17, 1950. Edward Von Winkle Jones published an article in the Miami Herald. This is an American daily newspaper company. It was a short article that covered many mysterious incidences suspected to be happening. Exactly two years later, another article was released by George Sand to confirm many suspicions that have been mentioned. The article was titled, Sea Mystery at Our Back Door. Indeed, it is a big mystery for planes and ships to be missing without any traces of their disappearance. There couldn't have been a better name for the article. The article was published by Fate Magazine, a company devoted to publishing articles on paranormal phenomena. Several losses took place in the Triangle area on the ocean. However, the number of ships and aircraft that have been reported to be missing is not very clear because there are controversies about it. In 1975, Larry Kush authored the Bermuda Triangle Mystery. The aim was to solve some of the mysteries. In the process, she mentioned that the sloppy researchers exaggerate some claims. According to her, if a boat is reported to have disappeared and eventually reports to port, it's never reported. She went as far as saying that some reported disappearances never really happened. Notwithstanding, much evidence also proved that some did happen, which is terrifying. How scary can it be for ships and aircraft to disappear without any trace? The thought of it alone is unexplainable. In addition, other writers gave a natural explanation of the incidents around the ocean. On January 1st, 1958, R.V. Conover lost his sailing yacht, and some writers termed this human error. It was reported that he sailed into the teeth of a storm. Researchers and writers noted that there might be some disappearances of ships and aircraft that the mistake and stubbornness of humans have caused. Another natural explanation given was the association of weather conditions. In some cases, some ships were lost to violent weather. When this occurs, thousands of lives are permanently lost to a powerful storm. This concludes that the Bermuda Triangle is indeed responsible for some disappearances of ships and aircraft, while some as a result of hurricanes and other factors. The Double Sea is known as the Dragon's Triangle or the Formosa Triangle. The triangle is located in the south of Tokyo in the Pacific region. The Devil's Sea was a Japanese word for Ma no Umi, and it was directly translated as dangerous or troublesome sea. These words associated with its translation are as difficult as its location. There are many incidents where people went missing, and they only left a questionable message behind. For instance, in August 1945, a long-range carrier aircraft was missing. The plane's name is Mitsubishi A6M, and this aircraft is a carrier-based fighter. A Mitsubishi company manufactured it. The whereabouts of this aircraft remain unknown till this date. However, other ships were lost around the exact location where they were later discovered. 
They were lost within the Yumiuri Shimbun. One of the earliest writers about the sea is an American paranormal writer, Charles Berlitz. He wrote a book named The Bermuda Triangle. In the book, he made a mention of the paranormal activities happening in those areas of the sea, where ships were lost. He mentioned that about nine ships were lost without any traces. He further said that the ship sent by the Japanese government for investigation also disappeared without any trace. The sea was concluded to be a dangerous zone for transportation, and people were advised to keep off. The research ship that was sent is by the name of Keiomaru. The vessel and the ship members were never heard of until some of the wrecks of the vessels were found later in the year. The activities happening around those regions and the water gave sailors sleepless nights and fright. This is understandable because nobody wants to go missing without a trace. Many of these sailors who were missing had families to cater to. The saddening news of all that is the exact area of the Devil's Sea is unknown, since the vertices of the triangle extend to some portion of the Philippine Sea. This is the Miyake area from a geographical view. Due to several happenings, all efforts to unravel the mystery in this sea area proved abortive. Since 1800, the Southeast had a seaside resort at St. Bride's Bay, and the village is known as Broad Haven. This can be found in the Haven community together with Little Haven. The Broad Haven Triangle is also known as the D-Fed Triangle. In the past, many people around the area claimed to have seen a light or some strange objects in the sky. Amongst other people, a group of children, 14 in number, witnessed this. While playing, they claimed to have seen a craft land in their schoolyard, the Broadhaven Primary School. This paranormal event caused a lot of fear in people, and children panicked. Some people claimed to have seen ghostly figures around the farmhouses in the area. In the journey to find the truth about what happened at Broadhaven, many people came across the book The Watchers by Neil Spring. The book is a result of several research carried out by the author. Some of the stories narrated by locals are scary and creepy. It leaves people wondering whether they saw a bird or something else. The reason why it was related to a bird is that the school children claimed to see an image hovering above the field for a long time. In addition, they narrated that the idea was in a silver suit. This information made it clear that it was not a bird. Besides, even a kid can easily differentiate a bird from an unknown figure. The thought of this humanoid figure vanishing in seconds is terrifying. This story seems so unbelievable when they narrated their tales to the head teacher. In the struggle to get the truth, the children were invited one after another to relate what each saw, and they described something similar. This means that their tale wasn't fabricated before the thought of older people. As time passed, more news of flying objects were recorded, supporting the children's story. On February 4, 1977, a scene was reported, and it happened in Broadhaven Primary School. A cigar-shaped craft was seen in the school field. When the teachers doubted their children, they later sighted the yellow cigar craft themselves. In Little Haven, there is an angelic church, and there is also a Baptist church in Broad Haven. When people claim to have seen something, it is best not to take their words for granted because there is a high chance that they did see that thing. When objects are seen flying around without the action of the wind, it is indeed a mystery. Among these sightings is the incident that had been happening reportedly in Scotland. Most of these strange happenings have been reported to come from an area known as the Falkirk Triangle. Many people have said that they've seen flashing objects flying around. Initially, people were forced to believe that the objects seen flying around were military objects. This is because Scotland has an area of an army base and aircraft is believed to be tested at night. However, was this really the flashlight from the aircraft testing, or is there more to the story? In 1989, on Bonnie Bridge to be precise, a red object was sighted to be flying around the sky. This was noticed by a fire crew, and soon after, they sighted another object that appeared strangely as well. There was another mysterious incident that took place along A70 Road. This happened in August 1992, a moving vehicle was interrupted by an alien ship. Gary Wood and Colin Wright were the two people reported to be in that vehicle. What made the incident surprising is that the road is a motorway. When asked to narrate what happened, it was reported that they were too shocked to say anything initially. It is expected that any other person will have been confused when moving a vehicle gets intercepted. Since then, people have been too scared to travel on that particular road. 
and they always keep their eyes open in case of any alien creature. Similarly, another strange event happened just to the east of the Triangle. Gore Bridge was a mining village, and people believed there was something weird about this small village. It was narrated to be a meeting place for some non-believers. It'll be suitable to refer to it as a camp since they met there and interacted there. However, people were insecure whether the secret non-believers carried out the suspected alien activities, or if there was more to the story. The story of the alien showed up for a reason as part of history. Some people went to dig Christmas trees, and they ended up running down, and they allegedly explained that they were being chased by an alien. They described the alien to be in the form of a luminous object. In no time, many other strange events were recorded, including the sighting of men in black and the loss of livestock. This area is popularly known to be a graveyard of many planes that have gone missing. It was reported that in the last 60 years, over 2,000 planes had gone missing. Not just were the planes missing, but the whereabouts of the pilots are unknown as well. This has clarified that the Bermuda Triangle is not the only dangerous region. How can highly trained and experienced pilots vanish into thin air without traces? There were no theories to explain the mystery because everyone was confused about the strange happenings. It could have been easy to tie the incident to human error if the pilots were not experienced. In other triangles, wreckage or human remains were later found in the sea. However, in Nevada Triangle, there's nothing of the such. Many cases of aircrafts that have gone missing in the Nevada Triangle are still unsolved. Surprisingly, Area 51 is located inside the Triangle. Area 51 is the location for the famous Air Force Base, and this used to be one of the top secrets existing. This area is a military base, and it's heavily protected. However, people don't want to believe that a plane can get shot and disappear if they get close to that area. At least, human parts would have been found, and the pieces of the aircraft would have been recovered. The disappearance of thousands of planes is an abnormality, and no theory can explain it. Even aircraft that didn't get close to the sacred area was still discovered to be missing. The question is, where could they have gone? And what must have happened? I'm sure that your mind is running wild like mine. December 5, 1943, a B-24 bomber was reportedly missing. In the plane, there were Second Lieutenant Wills Turvey, other co-pilots, and crew members. The plane was returning from a night training, and it went missing. The aircraft was one of the earliest planes in existence. A search for the plane began almost immediately. The aircraft was never found, despite efforts to be channeled to the investigation. After then, there were other reported cases where pilots and crew members together with the plane, had gone missing. The most shocking news happened when the bomber that went missing in December 1943 was found in 1960, July to be precise. The bomber's wreckage was found near a lake, Hester Lake. Peg Triangle has an unusual formation and was detected in the eastern part of the island. Amongst the shape of the rock found in the triangle, we have the cylindrical and round shaped ones. Due to its unusual formation, many attempts have been made by geologists and other researchers, including ufologists, to draw a theory that better explains the rock's attributes. Many said some of the mysteries in this area replicate the Cepheus constellation. Others said that strange happenings happened because hunters used to gather secretly and perform some sacred rituals. UFO mystery was discovered in May 1999 in the Pag Triangle, and it radiates ultraviolet rays. People who visited the island report that the path is filled with sharp rocks, and it is dangerous when you're not wearing footwear. Due to their extreme sharpness, it's challenging for any human to work on. Some even refer to the island as the Desert of Sharp Rocks. On this island, you can find a small, beautiful town called Novalia. What made everything strange was the difference in the type of rocks found. How can an island be filled with so many stones? The rocks found in the surroundings differed from the ones that formed the geological frame of the triangle. The triangle can be referred to as a land formation, and it was irregularly shaped in the form of a quadrilateral. Despite the fact that the road connected to the triangle to Tasca, a nearby village, the road was not easily accessible. When visitors don't come prepared, it isn't easy to walk on rocks for hours. Some people claim that the stones in the area have some power to heal people. However, none of the claims have been proven scientifically to be true. 
Yearly, many tourists visit the sites, and they have the opportunity to see things for themselves and as it is. The states of Tasmania, which is an island in Australia, Bass Strait, and Victoria is separated by the Bass Strait Triangle. In 1797, a vessel that operated in salvage operating went missing. On the ship was Eliza. She was on her way to Sydney. Only the wreckage of the boats was later discovered. Initially, people attached the cause of the wreckages to the climate and bad weather conditions. The British warship also disappeared in 1858, and unlike that of Eliza, there were no traces of his ship. In addition, a German cargo ship was also recorded to have disappeared in 1906. The Havilland Express entered service in about 1934 and she also disappeared soon after. She is named Miss Hobart, and as time goes on, only the wreckages of her ship are found on the coast. Furthermore, it was noted that strange things had continued to happen in the water between Victoria and Tasmania for more than 150 years. Amongst other incidents of disappearance, we have that of Fred Valentich. He was reported missing on October 21st, 1978, while crossing the Bass Strait. Most of the crew members of these lost ships claimed to have heard a humming sound. It didn't end there. While traveling from Melbourne to Tasmania, the Loena, another plane, was announced to be missing again. In the end, most of these missing people were never located. Therefore, their whereabouts remained a mystery. The most intriguing aspect is how some parts of the plane were later found after long years. An increased effort was channeled towards investigation, and some witnesses claimed to have seen some strange light around the areas. This area has been tagged to be a region of paranormal phenomena. These phenomena are spectral. The region is located within the United States, southeastern Massachusetts. Some people claim to witness bright ball-like objects flying around this area. Some of the entities described remain unidentified. The sighted things include big feet, ghosts, and shadows of unknown images. Some people have even claimed to have seen a terrifying giant snake. Local police were invited to investigate and uncover the mysterious objects and images being reported by people. Here's an example of such a place. According to some natives of America, they had come across a cow in the wood, and the unfortunate thing is that it was butchered. There are other historical places to be visited. Pakamak Swamp, where spirits dwell, is an example of such a place. Ghosts and all forms of flying creatures had been reported to be seen by colonizers. The area was further called the Devil's Dwelling, or the Devil's Swamp. Giants and birds are seen, and policemen reported this. The Profile Rock is also a historical place in Freetown. Tales had it that a man ghost was sitting on a rock with his legs crossed. Finally, buildings in Bridgewater State University were reported to be haunting sites for spirits. On December 1st, 1946, Paula Weldon was reported missing when she went on for a hike, and she was 18 years old. Her disappearance pushed a writer to publish a novel in 1951, entitled it Hingsman. Despite the extensive search that was conducted, she was not found. Before she went missing, she was a sophomore at Bennington College. According to an eyewitness, they allegedly claimed to have seen her depart when she turned a corner in the trail. After her disappearance, a veteran was also discovered to be missing. One similarity observed is the month and the date they both went missing. The veteran, James Tedford, went missing on December 1st, 1949. The disappearance began in 1945 with the story of Middies Rivers, who went hunting on November 12th. He haunted the long railroad on the weekend together with other hunters. They went up the mountain to have some fun and good times. He never returned home despite the extensive search to find him or evidence of his disappearance. However, a single rifle cartridge was later sighted in the rivers. Still, a detailed story of what happened remains untold. It is surprising because Middies Rivers was 74 years old and familiar with the entire area. Therefore, we cannot say he went missing because he could not find his way. The area has attracted tourists because of its beauty and view. However, it has been recorded in history that a small boat called Tuante 2 disappeared in this beautiful ocean. 
Every effort to find the ship was abortive, and the families of those missing were left with heartache. Many areas of the world have their fair share of mysteries. Things happening around the poles were always suspicious. The record shows that about 129 men that went in search of the North Pole never made it back. No one was sure whether they were lost to death or something else. Years after, traces of them were seen. Some researchers claimed that they were probably missing due to human error or weather. The city of Teotihuacan is a city that no one is sure of who built. Its pyramid is a sight to behold. Many said it is a place where gods are molded and created, and others said it is a location for the dead. Being an urban area, those who tried to visit the site never made it back to tell the tale, and they are known as the Aztecs. This has shown that there are parts of the world where strange things are rarely discussed. These paranormal regions are known as devil's graveyards or vile vortices. They are no longer 12 across the world, but 11 triangles that are exactly alike. However, it used to be 12, but one had been deactivated. Each triangle has a creepy story, and they are called Vile Vortex.